Anyway, Disney Town. Haven't talked about this place yet, and boy, I actually kind of like it. It's actually one of my more favourite areas in the game. Yeah, people will just come up to me and just say, It's a minigame world, dude. How can it be enjoyable? Because it's a minigame world with extras. Like, it allows you to explore the world and not just restrict you to those minigames. Which I commend the game for. Well done. I don't want to be forced. Well, you're kind of forced into doing one of the minigames. You don't well, want to be forced into doing all of them, and that's the entire premise of the planet. You'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, we're good friends. Now, I'd hardly call yeah, the level's constructed quite well. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own It's all based around... Obviously, you have to do one minigame depending on which character you're playing as. I'm 100% positive and then afterwards you can sabotage. explore the world, you can find all the bits. Interesting use of magic in order to power up a device which allows you to explore more of the world. It's good. It's a good place to explore, a good place to get some extra bits. Very worth exploring. So after we've done the initial story here, I might just come back and get all the extras. But if you're watching the YouTube version of this, Save that more, little return me. journey, I may not be right putting up. in the YouTube, because it's just returning just to get more treasure, not worth it. Well, not, well, not worth the watch, <laughs> is the best way of saying it. Ooh, this machine is busted. It just needs a good pounding. It does not. Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, if Captain Justice can't fix it. <laughs> if Captain no, Justice can't fix it, it, no one can. Well, no well, Jim will fix it, but yeah. we we don't we don't go there anymore. Yeah. We, we don't. You know, these are the directions for the machine. The ice cream beat mini game. Oh, I quite like this, and the reason why I quite like this is because it reminds me of Dance Dance Revolution, and I'm a big fan of Dance Dance Revolution and big fan of DDR. So, let, let's just do it. Let's wing it. Let's make ourselves some massive ice cream towers and have some fun. That's what it's all about. And you get to get, you get to see Huey, Dewey, and Louie get jiggy with it. Na 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 Get jiggy with it. It's a small, small world. Yeah, and this is when you'll start realizing that it's the small world after world after all theme. There we go. Mash. The world after all. Everybody, it's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. Gonna tap the X button at that time. Gonna stack them up. Gonna eat the ice cream just because I'm mad. Yeah. Oh, done. Four meters, forty-eight centimeters. I've gone higher. I the highest I've ever gone was like six. I know you can do it. But there you go. Nice little mini game there. This is actually one of my more fun mini games. There's one mini game in particular I just don't like whatsoever, but that's mostly because I suck at it. <laughs> and I think it's just a little bit finicky as well. It could have been more fine, but we're never gonna touch it until we hit Aqua Story. But we did good. Let's continue. What? I did good, but it wasn't enough. Uh, ice cream. Oh man. I'll retry and we'll do it again. We'll do it again. We're doing it live. Okay, let's go. One more time. Okay. Check your booties if you got them. If you got booties. Here we go! God damn it, no, I suck. Uh, I can't restart it! 
I may be able to give this back. No, I can't. Damn it. Going up. And. Going up. And. This is probably the worst run I've ever. Why is it on critical mode? Everything seems to suck more. Small world after all. It's a small world after all. Yeah, it's all done again. I did really bad on that one. Wait, I did bad, but I did better? Whatever, let's do it. Master mode for It's a Small World. Nice. And we're never going to play it again. <laughs> but it's a fun one. As I said, it's one of my more fun mini games in, in this level. Just Ven is fine. Well, thank you, Ventus. Way to go, Ven! I see. We had to push this thingamajig the other way. Hey, I just got an idea. We could let our customers make up their own favorite flavors of ice cream. Not with that. I, I do like that as an idea, though. Well, the kid the fact that there's a cannon that allows you to make your own varieties of ice cream, that that's pretty cool. Jumped. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine. But Captain Justice will return! Mm. Captain Justice! Screwing it up for the world around him! Yeah, Captain Justice! Trouble, he kinda I sucks! He just <laughs> Captain he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? It is true though, he does kinda suck. <laughs> Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize! Oh, it's just a small token, nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Yeah, and I, the only problem I may yeah. have with this level that is kind of a level's stuff. whole plot. It's all based around an award, like a competition where they vote for who they think deserves an award. And it, it's all it's all nice and dandy, but it's all about that famous thing, friendship. And because I've played this game over a million times, it's like, how many times do you need to bring up friendship? The whole, the whole point of Kingdom Hearts is that friendship is power. That, that's the whole thing. I've learned it from Sailor Moon, I've learned it from Kingdom Hearts, I've learned it from Dragon Ball, I've learned it from freaking any major anime or Japanese related TV show, or even American TV show. Friendship is power. Who do you think's going to win this year's Million Dreams Award? Right. We're done with Disney World for now. We've got 94% out of 100. Only reason why it's not 100. Kinda need glides, so we're gonna work towards that. But next on our list, it's one of my favorite worlds from the series. It's Olympus Coliseum. I don't know why it was a drum and bass club scene moment, but okay. Now, how did they make it better? Well. They added Zack from Final Fantasy VII. Okay. <laughs> Olympus Coliseum, guys. It was a shame that they didn't make the Coliseum the arena in this game, though. Missed opportunity. Oi, the kid's relentless. Hey, what you doing there? Ah, I told you, I'm book solid. N-O spells forget it. Uh, what? And who in Helicarnassus are you? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Phil! I'm all signed up! Phil! Alright, Eric, I hear you. Now, would you keep it down already? 
Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. You happy now? You blew my cover. <laughs> okay. Fess up. I asked around and everybody says you're the guy. The trainer of heroes. True heroes? Really? You can teach that? Of course he can. Come on, Phil, please. I really want to be a hero. Look, we've been through this. I got two words for you. Student, teacher, ratio. One, two... I already got my hands full with this one. Come on, Herc. I'm low maintenance, I swear. <laughs> Unburst monsters, huh? Thanks for checking out the video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe for some more VGU gaming action and check out what other stuff we have happening on our channel. And while you're at it, be sure to check out our twitch.tv channel in the description below so that you can catch us live and on the scene when we're doing another one of our gaming sessions. Until next time, we'll be seeing you on the other side.